Hi, today I want to share the top 10 terminal commands I use as a professional software engineer. These commands are available for all to use. Let's see how many you could guess in advance. First command, ls. This command allows us to see all of the files and folders in the current folder you're at. For example, I'll run ls and we get the list of files and folders in my current folder. Second command, cd. CD allows you to move between folders. For example, let's move to the fix git merge conflicts folder. CD, fix hyphen git, and I'll use the tab key to auto complete it. If you want to go back to the parent folder, type CD two dots. Third command, RM. RM allows you to remove files and folders, but remember, with great power comes great responsibility. You cannot restore files or folders removed with the rm command. Let's remove a file. rm file to remove .txt. And let's remove a folder. rm hyphen rf folder to remove. And now ls, the file and folder are gone. Fourth command, pwd. pwd is useful to know what is your current folder or to get the full path of the folder you're at in order to copy it and use it somewhere else, in a script, for example. PWD. Fifth command, clear. Clear gets your terminal screen cleared, enabling you to focus better, at least in my opinion. Here, clear, and our terminal is cleared. Sixth command, git. Git is an extremely useful software used by everyone and everywhere. It helps software engineers track their code changes and collaborate with others. There's so much to say about the Git command. I made some videos about Git and I invite you to watch them. Seventh command, history. History is a great command to find commands used in the past, especially long ones you don't exactly remember. For example, let's get the last 17 commands I used. History hyphen 17. Eighth command, grep. Grep is a command that can help you find lines that match a text or template within a long text. For example, let's use the grep command together with the history command to find the last CRL commands I used. History hyphen 200 pipe grep quote CURL quote. Ninth command, cat. Cat allows you to print to the terminal the content of a file. For example, cat tom.txt. Tenth command, touch. The touch command allows you to create an empty file. I find it useful when I want to make several new files to put some text in them later. For example, touch hi1.txt and touch hi2.txt. Now let's run ls. We can see the two new files. Cat hi1.txt, the file is indeed empty. And here our list ends. If you found this video useful, please support me by subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Thank you and see you next time.